Hey guys, this is Purple Magpie. This time it's going to be the review of this notebook, which is from the Harry Potter merchandise shop in King's Cross in London, uh, where my mom was recently uh, and where she bought it for me. Uh, I will be talking about uh, the way it looks. Um, I'll also talk about the price, um, the sizing, and the quality of the paper. I'll be testing it out. I am personally a fountain pen user, so if you're also a fountain pen user, then you know how important it is to have good quality paper. So, you know, those uh, notebooks are usually in a film, um, in clear film, so you can't really test whether the paper is worth it. Now, the way it looks, um, you can, it is, this one is a blue version with a silver elastic and a, bu and a bookmark. Uh, you can get it in four different colors um, because, right, the colors of the houses uh, in Hogwarts red, blue, yellow, and green. I chose the blue version, right? Um, however, if you're a, a, also a fellow Ravenclaw or if you just generally are a Harry Potter fan, uh, then you know that uh, those colors are not really the right ones uh, with the book version. Because in the books, um, there the colors of Ravenclaw were blue and bronze, and not blue and silver. However, in the movies, for whatever reason, I don't, I don't know. Maybe if you know, then you can let me know because I don't know um, why. But they chose uh, blue and silver. Also, they had to change the animal uh, in the logo of the house, uh, which in the book was an eagle. And uh, in the movies, it is a raven. And you can see it, the logo is embossed, so it's more subtle. So you can't really see it, but in the light, you can clearly see that it is a raven. So, now, uh, the price. I don't remember uh, what price it was exactly, um, but I remember surely that it was something about seven pounds. So it is quite expensive, and for that little notebook, believe me, it is a little notebook. We'll talk about a si about sizing in a second. Um, you know, you, you really have to be sure whether the notebook is worth it or not, which is the reason why I decided to make this video because I noticed that there is that there are no reviews of those notebooks. So the price is uh, quite high um, for a notebook that is that little. Now, the sizing. Uh, I thought um, at first that it was A6, but then I thought that uh, it is too narrow, therefore it may not be A6, it may be pocket. So I was pretty convinced that it was it is a pocket size, um, but no, <laughs> it turns out that uh, it is neither of those. I measured it and of course the measurements may not be exact. Um, but it was um, about 14 centimeters because I'm talking centimeters, um, not inches. Um, it is about 14 centimeters high of height and it is um, 9.2 centimeters wide. Let's talk about the quality of the paper and just generally the way it looks inside. So let me just take off the elastic. Okay, here we are. Here we have it opened. You can see that the pages are aligned and you can see that there is a logo of a Ravenclaw on each page. Um, the pages are not numbered. Just for info, um, there, are, there is no pocket in the back because I know that in some notebooks, like for example in the notebook where I have my bullet journal, which is a Leuchtturm, um, there are pocket. There is a pocket in the back. Here there is none. Uh, you can see there is a silver satin, as like silk um, bookmark. Uh, so now the question is just what the quality of the paper is. Now I prepared here my pen, my fountain pen, uh, Lamy from Lamy, which I use every day. So this is generally a what I write with. Um, so now let's write down. Now I'll try to 
hold it for a second a little a long a little longer um, because I also know that um, I have notebook for example for my biology class where um, I can write with it I can write write in it with pen no problem but I have to be really quick um, so I don't I can't hold it too long which is really a short amount of time I really have to be really 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 quick um, because if I hold it just for like a few just for a part of the second longer the ink will surely bleed through um, which is uh, which looks horrible as we all um, pen users know um, so now I'll try to hold my pen a little When, while you're writing, you're thinking about what you're writing and you sometimes like pause for just a slightly, slightly bit longer and then it just bleeds through and it is really annoying. Uh, I also prepared a fine liner because I know that a lot of people use fine liner, uh, fine liners. Um, this is the Stabilo in black, the fine uh, 0.4 and again. Same thing. Let's flip the page and see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. I was sure that uh, they will be ghosting um, because you can clearly see, like when you see this page you can clearly see the logo from the other side right on this page so there there is definitely ghosting because it is so light like a light gray um and it's still there is ghosting so i knew for sure that there will be ghosting but i was afraid that there will be uh, that the ink will bleed through from the pen or the fine liner and neither of those uh, looks bad. It looks pretty good. Like you can write with it. If you don't mind ghosting, um, it is a pretty obvious ghosting. Like you can see what is written on the other page for sure. So it will kind of um, ruin um, your, the look of your page if you're a real perfectionist. Um, but if you don't mind ghosting, like if you use Lifetime 1917, then you for sure know how that it, it has ghosting. But even if you use the fountain pen, you, you can still use it. There's no problem to that. And here, I think it is the same thing, the same situation. Uh, it is an obvious ghosting, but there's no bleeding through. And I am fine with that, so... And even if I hold it a, a little bit longer here or uh, or here, it still looks fine. There is still no bleeding through at all, which is satisfying to me. We can get to the overall conclusion. Um, is the notebook worth this high price? Um, and well, of course, as always, it depends. Um, if you really don't like spending too much money on notebooks, then, then you won't buy a notebook that costs a lot just because it's Harry Potter merch. But um, personally, I, I, I'm willing, of course, always, I'm willing to pay for a good notebook. Uh, like I bought Lostrum 1917, right, for my bullet journal, which is not a cheap notebook. Um, but... I really um, care about the quality of the paper um, because I have a, pop, a fountain pen, right? But uh, I, it, it was for bullet journaling, uh, which is what I need to do in order to be organized, in order to live a better life, right? But this notebook was like, it, it was not needed, right? But the fact that I've never been to London, uh, therefore I've never been to King's Cross, Therefore, I've never been to Harry Potter merch shop, uh, so it was more as like a souvenir. When I buy things that are Ravenclaw related, 
um, I just Harry Potter related. Then I do care about the original version, for example, of Ravenclaw. Um, you can see, for example, my phone case. Uh, it is, you can see that there is eagle, not raven. And the colors are blue and bronze, not blue and silver, which is the movie version. Um, so I do care about those things to be more consistent with the original version. So I wouldn't really buy it, but I just, just for the sake of it, it being Harry Potter merchandise, um, I just bought it because of like because of the fact that it, it is from King's Cross London where I've never been and I wanted to have something from there so I so I told my mom that yes she can buy it for me um, there were two sizes um, she said there was a bigger one so I I assumed that it would be a five but since this notebook uh, since this notebook sizing is quite unusual it's not a six or a pocket then I don't know which size was that one um, the other one but it was just like this one is close to a six something between pocket and a six so I think um, the other one will be like close to a five if not a five but generally um, I wouldn't recommend buying it just for the sake of like being Harry Potter merchandise um, no hate if you do this um, it's just if you're like careful with your spending then um, I would not buy this just just for the sake of it's like that it's merch but if you want to buy it just because it's merch um, you can you can buy it absolutely no problem uh, I showed you right now right uh, that it's a good quality notebook it is of course it's just it's merchandise right so this is why the price is so high the paper is good quality you can use it with a pen or a fine liner. Um, you don't have to be careful with the way you write. Um, so it is if you just want to buy a notebook that is just for general use or like I will probably put it like in my purse for some like notes when I'm on the go. But but if you just want to buy like a notebook just because it's Harry Potter merch, no problem. Uh, you won't be disappointed with the. Uh, quality of the paper because like I said it is in a clean clean film it is closed so we can't test the paper so it's it's like with moleskin right it's kind of um, like Russian roulette right you just pay uh, a big amount of money and it is like you either uh, are lucky and you get the good quality paper or you just get the paper that is really bad but you paid for it and you took the clean off, clean the film off and you can't take the money back, right? So, um, so at least uh, that's why I wanted to make this video so that you know for sure that you won't be disappointed with the quality of the notebook if you buy it. Um, if you decide to pay this amount of money uh, for it. These are my overall conclusions. I am very happy um, with this notebook. I am so thankful to my mom that she bought me it. Hope you liked my honest review. Um, give this video a like if you if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe for more videos if you want to see more uh, videos. I'm not doing I'm not doing only reviews. It's just lately I did uh, two reviews, um, but generally I do bullet journaling videos. So if you want to see more of those, then check them out because I will make. Uh, bullet journal setup for December soon. Thank you very much and see you guys later.